Good morning. It is Wednesday of Easter week. I don't know about you, but this week is always a week that I find myself in a lot of reflection. I find myself drawn to reading more and more in scripture about the crucifixion and the resurrection. Um, so I hope that that's something that is um, prompting to you this week as well. I'm reading in Matthew 27 this morning. And it's um, starting in verse 45 is actually this part of scripture where it talks about the death of Jesus. Starting in verse 40, 45, it says, At noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. At about three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice. And what he says means, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I listened to somebody speak about that earlier this week that talked about the fact that not only was Jesus enduring this intense, incredible physical pain for you and I, but also that verse tells us that there was a huge emotional and spiritual pain going on as well. At that moment and in that time, not only was there physical pain, but there was spiritual pain of knowing that his father had abandoned him, that his father had turned his back on him. What an incredibly lonely moment that had to have been for Jesus. And yet he stayed there. He, that wasn't the moment that he took that he decided that he was done with this and he could have saved himself. He could have taken himself down, but he didn't. In that moment when he realized that God had forsaken him, had turned his back on him, he was alone. And yet because he loves you and I and this whole world, he stayed there. He stayed out of love for you and I. That should speak intense volumes to you and I about just how much Jesus loves us. You know, the story is can be very sad and it can be very sombering, but there's pieces to it that should bring us hope, should bring us encouragement. And for me, this is one of those. This is one of those moments where it causes me to pause and think, God's love for me is so great that I can't even fathom what that is. But here in print, I can see that Jesus, who could have saved himself, stayed on the cross because of his love for you and I. He bore all the weight of our sin, crushing him, and yet freely chose to stay on that cross in that moment. I hope this is a week for you where you really get a chance to really reflect on the fact that you are loved by a God who held nothing back from you and I. He gave his only son to die on the cross for us so that we would have an eternal life with him. Take this week to absorb that, to think about that, to be thankful for that, and if nothing else, share that with people that need to know that there is hope in Jesus. Have a great rest of your week, and I hope that you find your way to church this week to celebrate our risen Savior together.